this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a code or script to your website header, body or footer. And you don't need any experience to do this. And without wasting time, let's just get started with the tutorial. So we're going to log into our WordPress admin area. And while we're here, we're going to come down to plugins and we're going to select add new. In this tutorial, we're going to be using a plugin called WP Code to add this script or code to our website. So we're going to come here to search for WP Code and then we're going to install this first option and also we're going to activate it. Now that we've installed the plugin and then we've activated it successfully, by the time we check the menu here at our left hand side, we get to see another option here that says code snippets. Now this plugin can do more than adding codes to your header and footer but for this tutorial this is what we're going to be focusing on so we're going to select header and footer now depending on what you want to do you can either paste your code on the header or on the body or on the footer so let's say you want to verify your website with google search console with google analytics you want to connect your website to facebook pixels or even you want to connect your website with google adsense and then they tell you that paste this code or or um scripts into the header or your body or the photo of your website this is where you're going to paste it so if they say the um the code or the script should go to your header you're going to put it here if they say your code or script should be printed just below the opening body tag you're just going to put it here and then if the code is going to be printed above the closing body tag which is your photo you're going to put it here also so let me just put in um let me just show you something so we're just going to have something like your code here and then this is how it's going to look like and when you're done you're just going to save your changes and then your code is going to be applied into your header or your body or your footer depending on what the situation might be so if you find this tutorial very helpful be sure to click the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this and i'll be sure to see you guys in the next one peace out